Oh, we went for a walk in the park. Oh man, the walk in the park. Yeah, so we were, there's a there's a park near my accommodation, and we went for a, a quick walk in there. It was kind of near around the the time the park closes, but we still went for walkies and <laughs> walkies, walkies, and we were we were walking. We were like at the actual kitty play parky bit, just having a laugh and swinging on swings and stuff, and. <laughs> So we look in the distance and we see we see smoke, and you, you, some of you might know this already because of looking at my Twitter. But um, we see smoke, and we're confused. It's like Very confused. there's a smoking tree. Yeah, and it's just like, is that? Well, both of ow 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 for fuck's sake. Both of us are. I'm okay. Hi. <laughs> I've got the. I've got water. <laughs> um, and both of us at the same time are like. Is that tree on fire? And it turns out it was. Someone had... We don't know if there was already a hollow in the tree or what, but someone had <laughs> that's set not, fire. That's not my first thought, I've got to say. When I saw a smoking smoking by the tree, I, I was thinking, is there like a chain-smoking hobo around there or something? <laughs> there was so much smoke. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, what? We placed our water in exactly the same spot. <gasps> Oh, and you lost your water. Sure. I've got my water bucket, I told you. Yeah, but you were having oh. problems. I was okay. <laughs> I have problems. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out, Ed. Uh, where is... I'm going to put my nice armor away so it doesn't get damaged. Yeah, I'm not going to have water now. Mm. Okay, well, okay. Um, you might find water in a cave or something. Stay here. Well, no, no. Keep, keep doing the, the stuff with the lava and the stuff. Yeah. Okay. You'll just. I have can't believe we're going through all this effort. Just. <laughs> oh well. At least we're doing something. Exactly. So yeah, kinda... smoking tree. Um. So we're like, what, what's happening? Why is? <laughs> we were so confused. Like, what do we do? Because it wasn't like there was a massive fire that needed taking care of. It wasn't like it didn't feel fire brigade worthy because it wasn't that bad it was like a tiny campfire inside of a tree but obviously if we left it the wind was kind of blowing almost directly at it so it was pretty much just feeding the fire and making it worse mm -hmm. so we were like okay what do we do um fire help ha ah, hmm yeah. so so um and there are some other people yeah. there who were from god knows where we bumped into a couple of ladies and uh they were very interested in it as well. We, we yeah. saw them, we were like standing by the fire just looking at it thinking, what the hell do we do? And then we saw some people, just a couple of people on a hill kind of silhouetted looking at us. <laughs> yeah, and we thought, oh, and they thought we'd started the fire. They came on, they were like, did you start that? We're like, no, it was a tree, it was on fire, we don't, what happened? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, so in the end we did end up calling the, uh, the fire brigade out and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the... Uh, the park closing people, the, the people who like own the park, came along and uh, were like, "You should leave now." And did you build that fire? And said, like, "Yes, yes, we built the fire. We waved you over so you could have a look at it. We called the fire brigade <laughs> because we started it." Yes. <laughs> ten out of ten for thinking there, Sherlock. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was yeah. We didn't start that fire. <laughs> just, just so people know. Yeah. That was dramatic. It was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. It made our day. So we called the fire department. They came and they put out that tiny fire. We kind of gave them a little nod and we were like, yeah, we, 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 were, yeah, we started the fire. Yeah. We like, yeah, we found the fire. <laughs> so that was fun. And then there was the day on Wednesday when it was really, really windy. Man, yeah. Oh, God. And that's the day we streamed as well. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, so there's a massive puddle outside my hall. <laughs> and um, it's like, it's a really big puddle. And Ed and I were like, we'd seen cars splash it in the past. We were like, okay, let's, um, give me a bucket. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. An empty one for a full one. Um, so we were just like, oh my gosh, um, you know, it's, it's really windy outside, but we needed to get food for dinner. And um, we had to get it soon because we were streaming. So we decided to brave the wind and go out. And so we walked by this puddle and we were, we were pretty far away from it. We were like, mm, about, I don't know, a good 10 meters yeah, away from Yeah, just to give you an idea of how windy it was, we could practically lean forward and just be held in place because it was it, that windy. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So we went to this, um, we went down the road, 
10 meters away from the puddle, a car comes along and drives to the puddle and splash, you know, like, you know, splashes the puddle all around. And we're thinking, we're, we'll be okay because we are so far away from this puddle. Nope. <laughs> it, the wind carried <laughs> the water 10 meters. It was, it was comical. We saw the, the water rise into the air and it kind of stopped almost as if it was looking at us and thinking, I choose you. And, and it just suddenly decided to squirt in our direction. Squirt is a horrible was... use of word in that situation, but yeah, it really <laughs> did. It was it was awful. It splashed us, and we got like half soaked. Like, <laughs> half of us was fine. Like your face was just covered in water. Yeah, <laughs> and my leg was just awful. So we, so we so we still went to Tesco. We went to Tesco. We did our shop. We got our food. Came out of Tesco. It was snowing. <laughs> that was Manchester weather is crazy, man. I think it, tell it you. really is. It was it was it was nice. It was really nice to see the snow. I I, I get really excited when I see snow because it's my favourite kind of weather. <laughs> so it was lovely to have snow. Yeah, and it's probably the only snow we're probably going to see all year, pretty much. So I, I think it's kind of it's kind of cool that we were out in it at the time. And um, <laughs> we had just been skyping your mum, and she was saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we skyped my mum, and um, she was saying, I was saying how much I really wanted snow, and she was like, "There's going to be no snow at all. That's it." <laughs> and and then it snowed. We didn't snow where she lived, and she was really sad about that. Oh. Um. But it was it was really nice. It was it was good to see snow. I was happy. That that made that made the the wind a lot better. And then we streamed, and you guys watched. Some of you, some of you guys watched. Um. We did uh, a machine for pigs. Which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Very scary. It's a scary and very strange game that uh, I couldn't quite follow, to be honest. But Amnesia's even worse. <laughs> it's, yeah. But it's, 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 Amnesia's a lot scarier, in my opinion. It wasn't as scary as Amnesia, although some of the moments of the pigs were... When the pig was chasing us. I think like... the first moment that we saw the pig, like, I think I was playing at the time. And yeah. we were down trying to find our way through, like, a, a little maze of boxes or something. And we suddenly yeah. realized that there was a pig in front of us. And it was all horrible and oh, snarly and stuff. God, and we just ran. We just legged it. That was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um... And then later on, where, um... When we were, like, getting hit by it and running around and trying to escape... And um, we got hit by it a few times, and we just ran. I just fell down a hole, and we managed to escape it. Yeah. Miraculously, somehow. <laughs> that was scary. But that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed streaming. And we streamed so late that day as well. We hadn't eaten dinner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we were going to make our yummy pasta bake, weren't we? Is that right? Yeah. That... That... No, no, we had curry. We had curry. Oh, yeah, because it was nice and quick to make. Yeah, and we were like, curry. We can't wait for curry. Yay, curry. <laughs> Because that's what our lives revolve around, just food. <laughs> and I got to see the magic of star streams from from behind the scenes. So that was kind of mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> maybe it'll convince you to do your own streams in the future once I teach you a bit more about OBS. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah that's going to be cool. <laughs> yes. Um, I definitely want to stream some MMM. That just seems like perfect streaming material. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that could be really fun. People can set you tasks to do while you stream as well. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like stream stream tasks. Because that's like the whole point of MMM is that everyone sets point sets me goals and stuff. Wow, so we're at bedrock here. Are we seriously? No wonder there's so much yeah. lava. You're kind of below me or lower I know, than me. But not by much in this bedrock down no. here. Hi. Hey, look. You know what we should do is we should go to the place where we want to build our place and see if we can still hear lava. Yes. 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 Yes! All this gravel I placed. I, sp I spent all my gravel. Aww. <laughs> okay. There's going to be lava underneath here, isn't there? Where did we... Where does one... Oh, here's our staircase right here. Right through here. Yeah, there's lava underneath here. Good job. Good job. Good job, Sherlock. <laughs> um... Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Ed? Um, but yeah, we streamed and went for walkies. Went to the museum, which is nice. Oh, yeah, the museum. We saw a uh, T Rex. Yeah, a real, a real life, life one. <laughs> we had a delicious hot chocolate from there. Oh, that was so good. And Valentine's Day, we went to Pizza Express. <sighs> okay, okay. So we've already mentioned that I can't eat wheat. Um, Pizza Express do a wheat free pizza base. And um, they were very helpful with their customer support, actually, because it said gluten-free, but it didn't say wheat-free, did it? That's right. Not many people know that um, 
gluten and wheat are two separate things and that they can be separated from, from each other. So you can have something that has wheat in it but no gluten and some things that have gluten but no wheat. Um, so it's always very difficult because everyone knows about celiac and how people can't have gluten um, and not many people know about the whole wheat thing. Yeah, it took me a while to explain to my mum that you're fine with wheat but not... Not, I mean, you're fine with gluten, but not wheat. Mm. She was like, what? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, continue. Yeah, anyway, so uh, Pizza Express do a, a wheat-free base. We had to um, kind of email them and, and talk to them about it and stuff. Um, but apparently, yes, it's fine. And we went, we had a lovely a lovely couple of pizzas. And uh, even we went for, for desserts as well. And I got a little brownie um, that I could eat. A wheat-free brownie. I kind of, you know, <laughs> people aren't going to quite get... Why I was so excited about this kind of thing, but if you <laughs> if you don't have something like that for so long, and then you have an actual edible version of it, oh, it just it it's a hundred times better. It's mm -hmm. it's amazing, and I had a lovely brownie and a and lovely it pizza. And it tasted nice. It wasn't it wasn't icky wheat free. It was nice wheat. Yeah, you tried some of it as well. Yeah, yeah, we had coffee with it, and I had a tiramisu because tiramisu is just oh, it's my favorite things: chocolate and coffee and cream and cake. Those are like my favorite things. Okay, this is the place where okay. we're gonna build it. So to sum it's up, very near to bedrock. Yes, indeed. So to sum up, it was a very healthy meal. <laughs> <laughs> but we were allowed. It was Valentine's Day, and we could celebrate. Mm -hmm. And exactly. Yeah. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> worth every mouthful. Okay, so quiet for one moment. I think it's good. I can't. Yeah, I can't really hear anything. So. Oh, you can't hear anything. Well, that's not good. I can't hear me. anything. I've gone deaf again. Help. Um, I'm just filling some of this up. I don't know quite how wide we want our room to be. Ah. Did you know me when I was like deaf in one in one side and then kind of deaf in both sides? Mm, no. No. Yeah, I I don't know. I I had a thing for ages where like my ears would completely block up and I couldn't hear a thing. Um. And I, <laughs> I did this thing when I was playing Minecraft where um, I, I couldn't hear as well out of my right side. So I would push my left ear up to walls to, to hear for like lava or mobs if I was trying to find a cave or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I'm sorted. That's good. It is sorted once more. Yarp. To hear my beautiful singing. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> you, you were a bit Welsh and lovely. Lovely. That's lovely singing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's pretty. I mean, that's pretty much the summary. We didn't do like a ton per se. We just sort of relaxed a lot. Yeah, watched lots of things, and it was really nice. We played La Noir. <gasps> oh, we played so much La Noir, and we're so still good. not even that far through the game. Yeah, like we've got two promotions out of like four. Is it so? Uh, we're prom we've been promoted to Vice now. Right. I know the game sort of because I watched a Let's Play of it a while back, but I don't know it terribly well, so it's really nice to be playing it again. Yeah. And it's so much fun. I'm awful at driving. <laughs> <laughs> like actually awful. Uh it, it was it was comical. Oh my god, some of the <laughs> some of the people that you run into and they just flatten to the ground. It's like <laughs> they oh god. <laughs> one of the first people person pe first people? Yeah, that you got. Um you pushed him over and slammed his head onto a bench. <laughs> yeah, bench him. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. L.A. Noir is a great game. For anyone who doesn't have it, you should definitely check it out or check out a Let's Play of it or something. It's so much fun. <laughs> and we're really bad sometimes, but, but it's still a lot of fun. But And I really want to play it now, and I can't because you're not here. I know. Yeah, I keep thinking I really want to play it, but... <sighs> And when I say play it, I just mean kind of watch over your shoulder and we both... We you, need to, both, you need to play more. Yeah. We both work on, like, assessing whether people are lying or not. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. And it's fun watching you drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun driving, Ed. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're soaring uh, through something again. <laughs> 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 exactly but oh that, that's a really fun game so we did a lot of that as well actually yeah we pretty much just ate and watched stuff to be honest <laughs> or played stuff Very it was tough. good it was it was really lovely and that's the longest i've ever seen you for in one space of time because the first time you were over it was only three days really it was only well technically it was tuesday but only half of tuesday because you arrived mid-afternoon ish yeah um 
and then Wednesday, Thursday, and then you left Friday morning. So it was really only two full days, and then two sort of bits of days. Yeah. Um, and then B and B was five days, but like four nights, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I don't know. So long ago. It was ago. four nights, and the <laughs> fifth day was obviously when we left. So. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's make it a little bit wider, shall we? So what? what how many days say? has it been altogether? Like. Um, like. Just over two weeks. Yeah. Like. Because I think in total, we'd seen each other for like eight eight days, I'd say, before this. And then this was 10 days, so about 18, 18 days. Wow. <laughs> Which really isn't that, it really isn't that much. Yeah. Who even are you? <laughs> Do we know this kid? Um, yeah. So it's kind of crazy to think that we haven't really actually seen, seen each other. Yeah, and we've been together like, what, six months now? Five. Five. Five, five this, this... 22nd. Um, let me assess that. <laughs> Do it. Assess it. I'm right. October, I'm the woman. It's December, my job to remember the anniversaries January. and your job to forget them. Yes, it's five. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. Come, come in. Oh, you're in. I'm Sorry. in. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Um, but hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Maybe Easter, hopefully. Definitely, yeah. Well, not definitely, but yes, that would definitely be. It. Well, you're definitely, definitely invited. Definitely hope to see you soon, and hopefully, I don't know, Easter might be a nice... You're definitely invited, so invited, it's your so... it's your call. God, meet the it's, parents it's... time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's Papa Star's, well, it was Papa Star's 50th, but he's doing a big meal with all the family on his, on his side, really. Um... Over Easter because I'm not going to be home until then. He wants me to be there, bless him. So um, that's going to be fun. You can meet my absolutely insane family. <laughs> I mean, no, we're perfectly normal people. What are you talking about? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we will be fun. It'll be good. And hey, I've I've been on a server with your uh, brother before, so you know. Yeah. Oh, we should we should um I should get um. Brolet back on the um the Lone Star server again sometime if you guys want. So, write in the comments if you if you want to see Brolet. <laughs> yes, write in my comments. <laughs> write in Ed's comments if you want to see Brolet, <laughs> and he can just relay the message to me. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I think this room is yeah. now even, or well, as in I don't it's 11 by eleven. Oh, is it? I think. You know these stairs are actually annoying me that it comes out like this. And not yeah, ground should we level. push it back one? Push it that way one. Hmm? No, don't fill that wall up. Push it that why, way why? one. Why? Wait. Push the stairs back one. Yeah. But because then they... I mean we'll have a we'll have headroom as well. It gives us like building space and stuff. So if we just take out this one step here, and then we can dig our way up. No, because I think the way that these stairs work, they come out in this room here. Yeah, they come up up here in this room, and I don't really want to. Dum, dee -dum, dee -dum. I'm um, I don't want a hole in my room. Oh no, I placed the water. Oh, it's fine. Wait, no, because. Look. Uh, hmm. Look. There'll be. I'll have to get rid of this block and then there'll be like a little bit of a hole in my room that'll annoy me. Hmm. Fuck Curious, it, let's get rid sir. of it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I got rid of it. Okay. Ah! You're digging down too far, I think. What? It should be like that, shouldn't it? Yep, there you go. Yes. <laughs> we got this. Um, hello, slime. Hello, slime. Oh, hello. hello. Hello, how are you? Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully Ed and Star will be reunited this coming Easter. <laughs> coming to an Easter near you. Yes, so maybe we'll we'll do another like, maybe maybe not a stream, but a recording or something. Something maybe we could. Yeah. Um, it depends if I'm bringing all my computer stuff back over Easter, yeah. which is a pain in the ass to carry back and forth. But I probably will, to be honest, because I still want to be able to record and stuff. Yeah. I might not bring absolutely everything, but I want to bring most of it back. I mean, I'm sure my dad will have spare some stuff at home, like maybe spare keyboard or spare. I'll probably I'll probably only bring one monitor back, obviously, when I go back. It is really... Although to be okay, to be honest, um, I'm gonna be going back home only a couple weeks after I get back from Easter, so it makes more sense for me to bring my second monitor home and then leave it at home. If you see what I mean. Yeah, I, I see. Because 
then I don't have to, because I'm going to have to bring it back home again after Easter, only a couple weeks later. And I can do a couple weeks without my second monitor. I've done, you know, up until Christmas, I'd done my whole YouTube career without a second monitor. <laughs> That's true, but you, you are enjoying having a second monitor. I am, but... I can enjoy it for three weeks at Easter and then enjoy it for with the, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll work it out. Anyway, um, uh, so yes, uh, that's pretty much that's generally what happened, wasn't it? What was the thing we were saying earlier in this episode that we were going to talk about, but we... The Godiva Gaming. Oh, yes. This is not 11 wide, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, no. One, two, Dig three, four, just... five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, there you go. It, it felt a little bit, it felt a little bit thin. A bit thin. <laughs> a bit thin. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Godiva Gaming UHC then. Uh, we, the, the episodes actually literally went out a quarter of an hour ago. Right, so it's done. Yes, I'm, it's done. I'm going to be watching those. <laughs> yeah, watching everyone's perspectives. Um, so yeah. Uh, a lot of people obviously have noticed, if you've been watching it and following it, that the mod didn't go quite according to plan. Huh. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, they did tests and everything beforehand. It wasn't like it was a completely unprepared thing. Mm. But because a lot of people were kind of mucking about at the beginning and dying and stuff, it kind of messed up the mod a bit, I think. Right. So it didn't work for um, some of the pairs and stuff. Which is why not all the... I mean, the shared health worked for some people. I mean, when we saw when people died. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Was, there, were, there was someone would die and then the other person would get slain by someone or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so they were definitely being killed together. It was working for some people. Yeah, just not everyone, which is a bit of a shame because it was it was actually my idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out there now. <laughs> I didn't do I didn't have anything to do with the making the mod. That was all vibrator. So props to him. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find him on Twitter. And Graf was the one who organised it all. But when we were talking about Valentine's Day UHCs, I was the one who was because I remember ages ago when we were organising the f Minecraft fan server UHC and people were putting different ideas out there for how we could modify it a bit and one of them was I can't remember who suggested it but someone suggested having a shared health and they knew a mod of it so I remember that so I brought it up in the um, Skype chat and people were interested and then obviously Graf was organising it she connected all the right people and got it all together yeah. and I'm glad that it worked out for the most part because it was still really cool to see how it would work and I'm sure you know I mean it's kind of sad that it didn't work for us but yeah you know, indeed it, I mean I, I've played in a shared health UHC before. Um, it was a WMC, and it's it's interesting. Um, I know because I was playing with Odyssey, and um, he would take damage, and I wouldn't know about it until suddenly I just get a hit from nowhere, and I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, what the hell just happened?" <laughs> and yeah, we didn't get to experience that. But then again, we barely took any damage all the I way took, through. <laughs> I think I took two two hearts, three hearts, maybe. Yeah. Throughout the entire I match, I think I think about two hearts because I ate one golden apple and that was right on the last before the last fight when they started charging at us and I ate that golden apple to heal me up to full. Mm. So I think I lost two hearts in total. Um, but I'm really I'm really pleased that our I say I'm really pleased I'm really pleased that our team did. <laughs> we won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah. But I mean, but, it, it wasn't a simple victory. We struggled all the way through. Um, mm -hmm. Not only with things like trying to get. Um, simple things like a bow, for goodness sake. I mean, I don't feel comfortable until I have a bow. And uh, we took ages to get that. And enchantments, that took us so long to find the um, the, the diamonds that we needed. Um, but, I can't remember what I was going to say, but yeah. <laughs> um, like, some of, some of the teams, <coughs> the, 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 the light red team, found things like skelly spawners and were able to get all that stuff really quickly and easily yeah and... certainly did and um, <laughs> not only that but they went into the nether and the nether had health regen on and... yeah yeah that sorry continue <laughs> i'm just agreeing with you i'm just it, it's it's curious i've been watching through like a lot of these perspectives and it's so weird how different a game we had from other teams especially from red team um who seemed like they had a lot of things just kind of given to them and um we had to struggle all the way through. So I'm yeah, not that we're saying they're not they're bad players. No, no, I mean, no, no. You know, of course for, not. for goodness sake, we watched most of the UHC. They were just destroying teams in chat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was. It was I, I, I guess I'm saying I'm, I'm proud of our team for kind of actually sticking it through despite all our different problems and the hunger boundary and just our general hunger. We needed food all the way through. And yeah, 
I really, really like the Hunger Boundary, personally. Like, it just added a whole new level of excitement to the UHC for me, mm. playing it. Like, it took us all off guard, but it wasn't, not in a bad way, in a kind of, like... I don't know, it drew teams to the middle without saying, okay, here's a meet-up time, come to this point at this time, and blah, blah, blah. And even with the Hunger Boundary, it was still a long match. Like, can you imagine if there was no Hunger Boundary? Uh, yeah, it, it, could, it could go on indefinitely, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it went on for like three hours, didn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it was, yeah, it reminds it me of like in that fan server UHC that I was a part of, um, where it lasted, for, I can't remember exactly how long, but it must have been coming up to like six hours or something. It was ridiculous. Um, but I did kind of well in that one, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, and there was just no incentive to go to center, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And, um... Uh, I don't know, it's just... I had a lot of fun playing it. I, I didn't really know um, False Symmetry, and I didn't know Assassin at all beforehand. No. So it was really nice to get to know them and play with them. And, I don't know, all the teams seemed to have a really good time, despite the plugin not working properly for some of it, and for some people. And, um... Uh, despite the ending being a little bit haphazard. <laughs> a little um, bit. Well, the thing is, it was kind of... It, the thing is, it was never an explicit rule that a Godiva gaming member would have to win. Mm -hmm. That was... You know, it wasn't, like, the point of it. But the idea was... Was that because of the plugin, it would mean that there would be a Godiva gaming member winning, always. Yeah. Because, obviously, if they died, their other teammate would die, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So for so if you know Fedrin had died and the plugin was working properly, then Old Man would have died with her. Yeah. Um, which is why there was that confusion at the end when it was only Old Man left. And to be honest, I think we should have just played it out. Yeah, definitely. Um, but that's you know it was a bit of a haphazard, confusing UHC, and the ending was just kind of mirroring that, I guess. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I think in terms of how I felt the game went, just I. I feel like we had an interesting time because we had a lot of struggles to contend with. Um, the only thing I wish is that we saw a bit more battle. Mm. Um, because we didn't have bows and enchantments for a lot of it, we had to avoid people at the start. There was someone underground that we had to sneak away from. There was someone, uh, we saw people above ground and had to run away and dig into a forest and stuff. Um, we just couldn't yeah. engage. And even when we saw Team, it was Team Whitey Tighty, so <laughs> we now know it was. Um, we they had even though they were lower health than us, um, they had but two of them had horses and some of them had diamond armor and they were enchanted, and we didn't have any diamond armor. We didn't have any horses. And we were split up away from assassin at that point as well. Yeah, we were. So it was just an you know it wasn't I I you know I really wish we'd actually fought that team like the battle had actually commenced mm -hmm. because we didn't run away from the battle. We ran to get higher ground exactly. because we knew that we couldn't charge straight at them because they had horses and diamond armor and we'd be screwed. Exactly. Not, we had a lot more health. We had golden apples. So we wouldn't have necessarily been killed. I think we might've lost one or two players though. Well, maybe, but, maybe it depends how we played it, but uh, well, we would, I think we would have gone down possibly. Exactly. Well, yeah, if, if we just engaged them where we were and assassin wasn't there, I, I think we, you know, we didn't have much of a hope, and that's why we needed to retreat. The very first thing that we did is we noticed that they were on horses and we crossed the water because they have such a bad time getting horses across water. So Yeah, and even then they followed us fairly closely. Exactly. Watching their perspective. But we wanted to get up onto the high ground on that hill because that would definitely give us an advantage. Mm -hmm. It was and a it just... very nice position to get. I can. Unfortunately, nighttime came quite quickly after that, so neither of us were on the offensive at that point. You know, we were trying to defend for mobs and things like that. Yeah. And then they came, and then they ran into the blue team. Indeed. And um, slayed them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think what happened to blue team would have happened to us. I know blue team were on slightly lower health than us, but I, we would have been sorted by them. Yeah. Especially because I know that it was it was Caniva, Sani, Winter, and Poet, and I'm pretty sure that all of them are pretty damn good at PvP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Um, I watched a. Uh, a fair few kind of things that Caniva has been in before, and I know he's pretty good, so... Yeah. 
so I was a bit uneasy about fighting them, but I was surprisingly bloodthirsty, not gonna lie, like, throughout most of <laughs> that UHC, when you guys were all like, oh, we need to get bows and stuff, and I was like, let's just kill them, come on, they might have a bow, let's get their stuff, and you guys were like, no, we gotta get bows, and I I'm kind of glad you did, because we would have probably lost health and then not won, exactly. but at the same time, I do kind of wish we had maybe taken one of those teams on, because it would have been nice to get into a bit more combat. Exactly, I know, it's, it's a toss-up of... of Winning versus not, fighting. Not even winning, it's kind of lasting longer. Because then you yeah. have more footage to show. And, you know, for example, it's not. It's, it's, it's also, I think, a case of you might have a good footage of a battle, but then if you're on really low health, you're going to be very stealthy around all the caves and, you know, you're not going to be as, you know, charging through them as much because you're going to be worried about your health and their flags are creeping about in the caves. <laughs> so that's going to be quite boring footage because you'll be a lot more cautious after you've had your fight. Exactly. So, I don't know, it just... Yeah, it's a toss up, but I'm I'm really glad. I mean, I was worried about facing light reds the whole time, and we did, and we won, and yeah, yeah, I'm ha I'm really happy about that. I mean, me too. I'm. It really surprised us when they charged them, but that's because they they said they didn't want like a um, I think our blue said in the Skype chat she didn't want there to be like they I think they just had a bow battle. They didn't want another one, and they didn't want it to like last for ages, especially because you know we were the final two teams. Right, I see. Um, whereas we were kind of like, okay, there's lots of mobs about, let's wait till morning and then we'll do something. Well, as soon as we finish this um, recording, I'm, I'm going to be watching that episode over, oh, over dinner, so I'll be finding out exactly what they were thinking. <laughs> yeah, oh man, it's it's going to be really good. But overall, I'm really happy with the UHC, and I'm really, I'm really glad you took part, and it was really fun to invite all the guys to take part as well. Yeah. A lot of people, it brought a lot of different viewers and communities together from different people, and it was really nice to kind of see that happening. And in terms I mean, I'm sure it's been a sub-boost for like everyone. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the mods and everything that you know may or may not have worked, it, it's kind of something that you have to go through before you can actually fix everything and get a, a very smoothly running UHC. So hopefully next time, if you've got mods running and stuff, then it'll uh, it'll work perfectly. Mm -hmm. And we do have I'm not, no, no spoilers, but we do have a another idea for a UHC coming up for another holiday, which is fast approaching. So no 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 initial spoilers for that. It's going to be very different from our previous UHCs in. Uh, in a sense, and um, it's going to be a lot more lighthearted and not taken seriously, even more so than the previous UHC. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to uh -huh. be a lot of fun. Yep. But keep your eye out for that. <laughs> anyway, I think we should probably call an end. Yep. Yep. We've been talking long enough. We haven't built this room, but <laughs> <laughs> we could do that in our own free time where we can do it in another episode or something like that. Okay. I think we should end in the same way we began by talking over each other. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, Am I going to be you? I don't. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know. Uh, no. And thank you for watching. <laughs> I have been Ed Case. I, I will see you next time. Wait, that's cut. Next time. Next time. Wait, that's cut. <gasps> <gasps> Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the. Joke. I tried to do it as well. I was smiling too much.